Hello and welcome to Grocers Hall. We are often asked about our history and our origins. Over the next few moments, I would like to share some of that with you. We can trace our origins back to 1180 when we were the Guild of Peppers and Spices as the main importers of spice into this country. It was only from 1376 onwards we were known as the Grocers Company by uh, doing our business in gross. Welcome to the Piper Room. It's called the Piper Room because these tapestries you see behind me were uh, commissioned by the company by John Piper for the opening of the fifth hall. We've actually been on this site since 1426, and this, as I've just said, is the fifth grocer's hall. We had one burnt down in the Great Fire of London. We had one burnt down in 1965, which unfortunately uh, for us is documented as the worst fire in the city of London since the Blitz, and the other two were demolished. The tapestries you see here paint a picture. There are five seed pods bursting open. That ties in very nicely with us being the uh, company that imports spices and peppers and things like that into this country. Each one has a different thing on them. The darker colours are obviously desert colours because as we all know, spices and that kind of thing comes from the east. The two reds are the colours of the two fires. The white on there symbolises purity because as the grocer's company back in the day when we were trading, it was up to us to make certain that the uh, product, the spices, were of a quality and was also clean, not bringing in uh, nasties into the country. On this first one here, at the top there, the first green you see is palm frond and the green below is palm trunk. On this one here, we have some star anise. On this one here, we have mace, which is the one that normally catches people out when I'm talking about the, uh, the tapestries. They don't normally recognise mace, which I'm sure most of you will know is actually the outer casing of the nutmeg. And on this one here, we have cloves. Now cloves is a very big part of our company crest. Uh, well, I'm sure if you see that our company crest, there is the camel, the sacks on the back has the cloves on them. In the carpets, we have cloves and in the stair carpets as you move around the, the building there is also clothes and palm and in some star anise. Now I mentioned a camel, a very important part of the company Crest of Camel. Everywhere you go in Grocer's Hall you will see a camel, whether it be glassware, a chair, uh, plates, anything at all and they're all facing left, i.e. they're coming from the east because the camel was our lorry. It was our mode of transport to move the spices from where they were grown to the ports to bring them back to the United Kingdom. This bell you see up here uh, is allegedly the oldest working bell in the city of London. That's back to 1458 in All Hallows Church. On company dinner nights, this bell is rung to alert people in there that the beadle is now going to gavel for dinner. And here we are in the living hall, the main social hub of the grocer's company. The three chandeliers you see and the wall sconces there are commissioned for the opening of the hall after the fire of 1965. They are made of Venetian soda glass. Were we to have any problems with these, they have to be winched down, packed piece by piece individually and sent back to Venice. The worst case scenario for us would be that they all had to go at the same time, which would take us about a week to send back. In 1694, an act was passed and established the Bank of England, which helped change the fortunes of the company. When the bank was formed, they rented office space from us. The first governor of the Bank of England, Sir John Hoobron, is also the person on the back of the last £50 note. He was also Lord Mayor of London. His memory is still commemorated within the hall by this statue you see here. 
Yes, uh, these gates here you see beside me, they date back to 1680s um, from the second grocer's hall. These were three times the size of what you see now. Uh, they were very badly damaged during the fire of 1965, which I mentioned earlier. These were the only salvageable, usable parts that we could bring back into this hall. They are still used today and still closed today for the loyal toast after dinner. The chances you see on the wall here, or should I say the remains of the chances on the wall here, the oldest being from 1690, from William and Mary, are hanging on the central staircase, more or less where they are now, on the night of the fire in 1965. The damage you can see to them is actually water damage from the fire brigade putting the fires out on that night. As you can see, we have three chances here. With each mnemonic back in history, the privileges of the company were confirmed by charter. There is still evidence of the history of the guilds in everyday use in very simple terms and phrases I'm sure we all use. The most obvious one is hallmark, coming from the goldsmiths, and I believe that one speaks for itself. The term peppercorn rent comes from us. Rents were occasionally paid in pepper due to the high value of black peppercorns in this country back in the 1700s. One of the most used is when we're all at sixes and sevens. That actually comes from the merchant tailors and the skinners. They can never agree, and I'm sure they never will, which one is number six and which one is number seven in the Great Twelve. So every Easter they change, so they're always at sixes and sevens. The only exception to this is if one of the masters of one of those two companies is Lord Mayor in that year, then they will not change. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that brief history of Grocer's Hall. If you would like to find out more, please visit our website at www.grocershall.co.uk.